What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to be talking about flares in Escape from Tarkov. This is something that not a lot of people really know about. Because I've been seeing them like quite often a lot on the ground, like unused flares. And people like just straight up not picking them up. So currently there are three flares in Escape from Tarkov, three colored flares. There's white, which is to the left, red in the middle, and I do not have a green one. There's also a green flare and they also come in two different versions. They come in the reactive flare and a flare cartridge. So the reactive flare is the only flare right now that you can fire off without the gun. The cartridges are used for the gun that you have to barter for. The only color flare that currently does anything in Escape for Tarkov is the red flare. The moment it calls in a supply drop that usually takes about 20 minutes to get to you depending on where you shoot it and how often a supply or how not often how recently a supply drop just came there are currently four different supply drops that it can be it can be a common crate supply drop barter item supply drop medical item supply drop or a weapon supply drop now in order to use the pistol cartridges you need to have the signal pistol which can only be obtained by bartering for it from jaeger trader level three you need five white flares one yellow one green and two red flares once you obtain that you can use the cartridges in raid but i assume that well i don't know if you can put it in your secure container yet. i haven't got it but i assume you can't put it in your secure container because it's considered a weapon so i would ensure it if you were going to go for the signal pistol now of course when you're in raid you simply sign it to a key that's how i do it you sign it to a key and you just pull it out bam it's ready to go right just look up do not look to the side, do not look at the ground. If you look to the side of the ground, the flare will pop off still, but the supply drop won't come. Also, do not aim this at your friends. You can actually kill somebody with the flare gun if it hits them in the head. It's kind of wild. You look up, and just click. And that right there will signal the plane to come. It usually takes about 20 minutes. And a message would pop up on the right hand corner saying, the airdrop is on the way, but right now I'm in an offline raid. I'm going to show you footage from an online raid of what it looks like to actually get the supply drop coming in. So as you can see from this clip, I kind of waited on the supply drop. I didn't exactly push it as soon as it came. So you can play it like this is usually how I play it. But when you call these in, you got to be very careful because, of course, players are going to be swarming it like this. And a lot of the time they will camp it kind of like how I was doing, but I had to be, you know, I had to be sure, man. You know, it's always safe, better safe than sorry. So, but usually it comes in, everyone will surround you and you're basically going to be fighting for your life or running for your life. So anyways, that's going to pretty much wrap up the video guys. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please follow me on Twitch. I use YouTube as a informational videos and to kind of post highlights, but trying to make it on the invasion team for escape for tarkov and they don't really recognize youtube as a streaming service unfortunately so twitch is where i'm going to be playing most of my time so i hope you guys enjoyed the video if it was helpful please like and subscribe follow me on twitch follow my tiktok follow me on twitter keep up to date with what i'm doing in my everyday like active active army life and of course thank you guys for the support i really appreciate the comments even if they're hateful or constructive or just you know a well being comment like always, guys, take care of yourselves, and I hope to see you guys on this channel again. Peace.